and welcome back friends for reading time with cj thank you so much for joining me girls and boys so that we can read and explore more books together please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated and read along with me for all the new books that will come along so are you ready to see what book we're going to read today this book is called the adventures of sam the speedy sloth written by matthew ralph are you ready to read along with me let's go the adventures of sam the speedy sloth playtime in the rainforest sam the sloth lives in the rainforest of south america sam is not like other sloths he is speedy and loves to run around but the other sloths are always too busy snoozing all day and are too tired to play with sam one day sam decided to find new friends to play games with he walked into the forest looking to see who was around when he stopped by a tree sam saw a colorful bird perched on a branch high above hello he said i'm sam the sloth and i'm looking for someone to play with do you want to play a game I'm Tammy the Toucan, she said, and I love games. Sam was delighted and asked, so what can we play? Well, how about we fly over the treetops? That's my favorite game, replied Tammy, pointing up to the sky. But I can't fly like you. I don't have wings, Sam said. Maybe we can't play together then, Tammy sighed. Sam was sad for a moment, but then he had an idea. Well, how about we race? I can run and you can fly. Tammy agreed and flew off with a flap of her wings. Sam ran along the leafy ground as fast as he could. Sam and Tammy reached a clearing and stopped. That was so fun! They both giggled with big smiles. Sam sat down on the ground, but the earth collapsed beneath him. He fell into a hole and pulled himself out. Suddenly, a big snout poked out from the deep hole. Excuse me, you sat on my den! said the creature sorry said sam we were just playing a fun game the creature smiled i love games can i play too of course sam answered with a beaming smile i'm amy the armadillo she said nice to meet you so what game do you want to play asked sam Let's dig underground. I love that game, replied Amy. But we can't dig underground like you, said Sam. Amy looked sad. Maybe we can't play together then. Sam thought for a moment. I can run, Tammy can fly, and you can dig? They nodded and each sped off. Sam was so busy looking behind him, he didn't see the river ahead of him. But it was too late and he fell in. He swam back, spat out a mouthful of water and shook the water off his fur. He laughed at his wet reflection. Just then, a little round face stuck out of the water. What's going on? Who's splashing? The face asked. Sam smiled. Oh, sorry, we were playing a fun game and I accidentally fell in the river. Now I'm all wet. The face smiled and rose up from under the water. That sounds like fun. I love games. Can I join in? Of course, Sam. Tammy and Amy replied together. I'm Oscar the Otter. Pleased to meet you, he said. Great! What game do you want to play? Sam asked. 
Swimming underwater is so much fun, replied Oscar. The others all frowned and looked at each other. Sorry, but we can't swim underwater, Sam said. Oh no, said Oscar. Maybe we can't play together. I think I have an idea, said Sam, waving his arms. Let's have a race where I run, Tammy flies, Amy digs, and Oscar swims. First one to the big tree stump wins. Before Sam had a chance to move, they all sped off. Sam ran along the river bank, clumsily moving his legs. As he got to the tree stump, Sam tripped on some vines, but he laughed and quickly got up from the ground. The others arrived with wide smiles on their faces. It was so fun mixing our favorite games, said Tammy. And I have some amazing new friends, added Amy. We're different, but can still play together, said Sam. Can we play together again tomorrow, asked Oscar. Yes, of course we can. They all cheered and laughed. We should go home, said Sam. It's getting late. They said goodbye and disappeared into the rainforest. Sam walked back through the rainforest to go home. That night, Sam went to bed and looked up at the sky. That was such a fun day. I wonder what game we'll play next time, he said before falling fast asleep. The end. And I hope you enjoyed this book, girls and boys. Thank you so much for reading along with me and continue to read at home, all right? See you next time. Bye-bye.